Hi everybody, me again. Right, I'll try and get on with this as quickly as possible so I can get as much into the video. Um, what I'm going to do is just quickly recap on what was in the last video. Using the guidelines, you can drag the guideline down to the size you want. Uh, I'm doing 15.5 here, okay, and that will give you your square card when you trim it uh, after it's been printed. Okay, so to remove the guideline, just push it back up to the ruler and you can start over. This time I'm going to drag the guideline into the middle uh, vertically to just under 15 and that will give me a centre fold line for an A5 card. So now I can go ahead, put text in and do whatever I need to do and that will then print out without the guideline giving me a plan or a five or an A5 card. So I think that's fairly straightforward. Next, the A6 card, which is um, A5 card doubled. Um, and out of an A4 piece of card, you'll get two A6 cards. However, we can't do that in landscape. There is an option when you go to uh, change the page setup. You can see here that you have an A5 landscape here. However, when when you go to print this, it tries to print it in the middle of your A4 card. Consequently, you're wasting a lot of card and that isn't an option as far as us crafters are concerned. So, what we do is we change the page setup to portrait. You bring your guideline down to half way, which is just under the 15 mark, and the other one you're going to bring to 10 and a half. Okay, now you've got a plan for two A6 cards your card fronts, your card backs. You can zoom in so your planning becomes a lot clearer. You can add your text. But when you print it out, you've got whatever you want in your front of your card um, or your back of your card. You can always put made by on the back as well, which is a, a rather nice extra. Right, so that's your uh, square card, A5 card, A6 card. The next thing I want to show you is if you wanted a custom sized card. So we'll just pop our guidelines back into the ruler area and I'm going to change my setting again, my page setup to landscape. On one of the cards I had, I've had, i done this year, um, I've had 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter size envelopes so I wanted cards to fit inside. Um, I decided on 9.5 by 9.5 so I realised I could get three out of a piece of A4 card. So I brought my line guide down to 9.5 and another one down to 19. Okay. I dragged a guideline across to 19 this way and another one to 9.5, which is about there. So now I've got two cards with a fold line, 9.5 and 9.5, front, back, front, back. I realised I could get another one in here, so my guideline would need to be at um, silly me, 28.5. So we'll just pop that guideline there. So now, here are my two cards, front, front, and here's the other front here. So now I can go ahead and put text if I wanted to in each of these three fronts. And then when it prints out, I would uh, chop off this piece here and this piece here. I would then cut off my third card at the 19 mark here and separate my other two cards at 9.5 here. Okay, 
I hope that's clear and we'll call it a day on that on this video and next time I'll do something more with the text. Okay, thank you.